All right, welcome back. This is the Happy Toolbox, and today I'll be going over a very quick tip on how you can import legacy lib4d files into the all new redesigned Cinema 4D R25. Uh, people like myself who do kind of these asset packages or material packages, um, we tend to deliver in this lib4d file format. We do FBX as well, but Cinema 4D has now moved away from the content browser that accepted the lib4d file format and has now gone to, if you go up to window, this thing called the asset browser. So if you open that up, it's all new designed. They have a bunch of uh, new objects in here, new materials. They have a bunch of 3D models as well, which is great. So you can download these, they're kind of hosted in the cloud. Uh, but if you want to add your old lib4d files to them, if you go up to create, import legacy library.lib4d, then you navigate to you know where you have that lib4d pack and double click it, and it's going to ask you select destination database. So right now you can just put it in your preferences. That's probably what we're gonna do. But as you can see, you can say create new database and basically place a folder on your hard drive where you're wanting to locate all of these. Uh, we're just gonna do preferences, hit okay. Converting legacy preset library, successfully converted 45 assets. There was 45 assets in the building pack, hit okay. Now, if you go over to converted, this new folder was created, open that up, there's the Happy Toolbox City Buildings Pack. So still exactly the same. We still have our beautiful preview images. You can still scale it up in the same way. It's just a new format and stores it in a different way in Cinema 4D. So I can still double click these, pop them in, get our new assets. And then just to note, you don't have to keep this inside of converted if you don't want to. Um, but what I've been doing just because I'll probably be converting a lot of these, I do create a category and then say the happy toolbox or whatever, um, place you're buying these from. And I just go ahead and drop my pack in there. So that way I always know where it is. I can search it. It's really easy to use. Um, another thing to note, you can also always move this into a different section of your system. So if I right click on this, I can say. Uh, move to database and go right back to that preferences zone or creating a new database anywhere on my hard drive. So hope that helps the same great assets, same beautiful browsing experience, just kind of in this all new redesigned format. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you'd like this video, that would help us out a ton. Uh, and as always, if you're interested in any 3D model packs, head on over to thehappytoolbox.com. We just released our uh, city buildings pack right here. All right, I'll see you next time.